Hello everyone, I am SV and today we will talk about Redshift material. I will show you how to use tree planner and how to use a color layer. And additionally, I will show you how to use a Redshift sky and Redshift sun. So if you are ready, let's start. Okay, we are in Cinema 4D and I create a cube, just standard cube. So it will be 100, 100 and 200. This is will be our basic cube for material. So uh, also I'll do some, uh, I don't know, dome light and tint for this dome light will be a gray color. You can see what we have. We have like this. So going redshift uh, settings, redshift render, and change our IPR passes only for 32, just to increase our renders. In present moment, nothing changed here. Okay, what next? So, create a new redshift material. So, in this tutorial, I am not show you how to make a very photorealistic picture. I will show you just a, some a basic, how to create a nice redshift material and how to blend a color. So, open Redshift shader, put it somewhere here, and open for full screen. Very nice. Just a moment, maybe I will a little bit change and increase. Okay. So, we are ready. What we have? We have this material. So how to create a some mask? For example, I like to make some uh, material only on the side. Don't touch a top and bottom. Uh, first of all, I can start with a texture. I will open everything and I have like this three planar texture. What is this and how it work? If I apply to my output, I cannot see nothing. Just a moment. Yeah, I forget. I forget. Sorry. I forget to apply this to the cube. Yeah, now it's, now it's better. Okay, I have like this. Uh, because in my uh, tree planner, I have same image on each axis. So just disable it. As you can see, I have MHX red color, MHY green color, and MHZ blue color. As you can see, I have here absolutely same. So if I apply any, I don't know, for example, for example, noise, if I apply noise here, like a texture for Y color, I will have only here this texture, not anymore, only here. It's very simple to apply some very interesting texture to somewhere. Okay. Uh, also, I can make like additional villet. Maybe, maybe I will use only 10 centimeters only a little bit again open uh, what what settings I have inside in my tree planner uh, first of all this is this is this is this is blend amount so it's 0 0.1 if I increase you see my ages coming more blue red maybe somebody need it if I know it I just make a zero so I'll keep zero and blend curve also same situation you can increase or you can decrease you see coming some difference yeah but i don't need any blend amount i need just directly straight because i use a cube also you can change any coordinates if you use any texture any i don't know texture for this uh, tree planner so if you need it go ahead uh, don't forget to check this texture should be applied like uvw mapping like this Okay, what next? So, uh, I am create a mask, mask for material. I am going here and white color will be on red side and blue side. So I take red side, it will be white color. As you know, wherever, whereas I have white color, I can apply any different uh, materials, bumps, anything. And black color, I make like this. So I no need now, Villette. I have like this. What next? This is this our, we call it, uh, just a moment, where is we can rename it. Yeah, it will be roof. 
three planar roof. Also, I create a ramp. So take ramp, apply here, and what I have? I have like this. So uh, open ramp settings and interpolation change for none, like this. If you change it, you see we have directly line, very straight line. So put just where somewhere to the bottom, I don't know, maybe maybe only five, five percent. After that, take this blue one, oh sorry, black one, and copy somewhere here. For I don't know, for ninety-five percent. So I have directly downstairs and upstairs. You see. I rename it like a fun Diamond. I think I think this is fund. Doesn't matter. So take one more ramp, and now I make a mask for my uh, corner, for my side corner. Apply this ramp again to my output. Going and change interpolation for none, like this. So change it somewhere here, and mapping not horizontal, we will use a vertical. As you can see, I have like this. So just make maybe smaller. You see, I have some difference, yes. I'll use, I don't know, maybe maybe 10. And copy somewhere here. You see, yes, it's coming from other side. Also will be 10 from other side, it's mean 90. So I have a corners. Yeah, maybe, maybe 95. I, I just try, I just try. And here will be 5. So, yeah, like this, like this, very m nice. So, as you understood, I have now, I call it uh, corner, corner, doesn't matter. Okay, uh, I have a mask for roof, top and bottom, yeah, I will show you, yes, top and bottom have a black color, like this. I have mask for uh, my fundamentation and I have mask for my corner. So how to apply all three this mask in one color? I have go to colors and color, color, color layer. Take this color, color layer. So inside in basic color, I will apply my tree planner roof. Then I will apply this for color number one and this color number two. And here, what I have? I have like this. Nothing working and looks like not so good. So I'm going inside color layer and I can see color one enable, color two enable now. But as you can see, I have blend mode for normal. So change it for multiply. You can check many different, but I'll use a multiply and here also multiply. So what I have, I have like this very interesting mask. Mm, only with few different nodes, I have very interesting mask and I can apply it for any different kind of material or of object. So just for example, I'm going here and create two more cubes. This cube will be, I don't know, maybe 50, 50, 300, like this, very big will be, yeah? And one more cube will be less, I don't know, I will do a 200, 100 only, like this. So just check what I have. Ah, come on. This is I no need. Again, just check what I have. Everywhere I have this mask and looks like not so bad. Fit the window. Yeah, everywhere I have this mask automatically, yes, uh, without any UN mapping. What next? What we are doing next? So open my material, open somewhere here. My shader graph. I no need now this cube. I use only middle cube. If I like to add something, I'm going and create a Cinema 4D shader. So if you know Cinema 4D shader not working without texturing, take some texture, apply shader to texture, like a general input image, and apply here. 
I have nothing. So going inside to the shader and here you can use all shaders, almost all shaders from Cinema 4D. I use a uh, shaders from Surface, name of this shader style. Open and look what I have. I have like this. So open this shader settings and change some few settings. So I have to make this will be white, I think. No, negative. This will be black and this will be white. It will be like a like a window for my for my building. Okay, and this will be also white. Like this. Very nice. So bevel. I think I no need any bevel. I'll use a maybe maybe only 10%. Yeah, I think I think this will be more. Uh-huh. Very nice. So without any change. Okay, if I like to change something on this uh, shader, I'm going here and change a scale. For example, U scale for only 50. You see, I have like this, or change here for 50, I have like this. So very nice, and in present moment, I will use only like this. And scale, global scale, maybe 50%, you have too much, or maybe 75%, not too much, 80, it doesn't matter, so I'll use a 100. Just go the back and check. I have like this and not, not, not so interesting, maybe I'll increase. I'll increase for 50. Yeah, it will be like this, so very nice. What next? Uh, how to apply this to my color layer? I am just drag here and make a choice color layer number three. Open this color layer, enable number three and make it like before a uh, multiply. So apply here and what I have, I have very interesting mask with many different, uh, like a window. So you can use it. Very nice. What next? Uh, next I apply this color to my, uh, to my to my mask it will be like a blend so first of all i'm going to my material basic properties and make some i don't know maybe it will be some gray will be some small reflection maybe 0 0.2 and maybe 0 0.5 and maybe 0 0.5 will be some reflection this will be like this material In just a moment like this material yeah if you like to use it more faster you can go to tools take these options and put somewhere here for example if you have some material just make connect to output and it will be more faster yes it's, it's up to you one my subscriber teach me about it okay so very nice and what we are doing next i like to make some windows lighting for windows so i am going to material going to incidence and self-illumination material and change color i don't know maybe it will be just a little bit yellow or i can change the temperature for 4000 this doesn't matter so it will be like this this will be color of the window okay and how to use it so i have to make a material blender and main material for this blender will be my building base color yes of course you can you can apply to this material some stones some bricks it's absolutely up to you and this will be like a layer number one so and for layer number one i will use this mask which i created just go here and make a blend color apply it to output and and what i have i have like this so my material have this color and my windows has some illumination but as you can see all my windows has this illumination and how to how to fix this problem how to avoid it we have to create one more shader so i'm just copy these shaders downstairs just this apply this to my surface and just make some few change first of all grout white i'll increase maybe for 20 just make it inside after that i have to put randomized color if you push here 
uh, nothing happened because I have to make a black here. Just a moment, black here, and then put randomized color, and I can see it like this. So some of them have uh, some different colors. Very nice. So and I think I can apply it to to Material Blender to here. Again, check and here you see very nice but i have everywhere roof building and all corners and it looks like not so good so i also can apply it to my illumination color and check it now ah sorry not not illumination color uh, just a moment i have to double check because it was very difficult material. Yeah, just just to color. Just to color. Color blender and this color bump. Okay. Yeah, you see very, very difficult material, very difficult to understand what is going on. But it's working. It's working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So going back to our tutorial. And again. It's for color, yes, it's applied for color. This I make a copy. And apply it like a bump. Just going to the bump. Apply it to the texture input. And here like a overall bump input. So apply here and check. Yeah, you see? Some bump some bump coming. Some bump coming, but it's a all bl black coming inside. So I go into bump. And I make it, for example, minus, minus 10, just for check. Yeah, all windows going inside. And bump working more or less, more or less interesting. Looks like, looks like very big building. Animation building, not photorealistic building. Yes, because I create some teaser and I receive many dislike. But my idea to show you how to make a very hard texture, texture masking for Redshift. Idea is this idea not to make very photorealistic city. Okay, now we have apply again my windows. Check and try again. So blend color. Maybe I'll just take this, put it down. And these shaders I will apply here. Not these shaders. So check what I have. I have like this. Yeah, very nice. And this will be my mask. This will be my mask for lights. And finally, what I have, I have like this. Looks like not so bad. You see, some different lights, some different windows have some illumination. So again, this I apply for bump and this I apply for mask. Inside in the bump, my shader have absolutely same uh, tiles and for my mask for uh, self-illumination material my shader have some different so if i for example go in here and change some seats you see lights coming in other mm, i don't know uh, in other position as other other lights start working also if you like you can increase the shaders for example go in here and increase for 100 and of course here we also have increase for 100 yes like this and finally you have also very interesting situation with material so i'm a user 50 50. how to make it a little bit random for example i have a difference i'm going here i have a different buildings this and this so i'm just hey you see it's already almost random yeah i just make a copy and copy of these buildings so second material i will apply here and third material I am apply here. Open and check. For example, here I will change, I don't know, maybe it will be 100. I cannot see where it's coming. Oh, yeah, I will change better here, 100. Yeah, so this is, will be 100, this will be Mm 
Mm -hmm. No, this will be 50. So it will be like this, very big building. And 5050 also we will do here, yes, 50. And this material, I'm going here. I think it is will be. Yeah, like this, you see. And just make some random, for example, open this, going down and make some random, doesn't matter. Go in here, open this, and make also some random, doesn't matter. So I have a tree, like a different buildings with some different colors. So I also can change a color. Open that, going to my main material, and change, for example, to a to almost black, maybe, maybe 10. Like this, and go in here, change it almost to the, I don't know, which color we will use maybe maybe like this so it's it's not so very important okay i have three different buildings what next uh take these buildings and put to the center the center center and center if you like to use a cloner all your buildings should be in one line so just make like this make like this and make like this. Also, we have to use our coordinates. So select all of them and make it editable. Open, going here, and change our position to zero. Same for here, and same for here. Okay, all our buildings start from zero coordinates. Like this. What next? I am going to Mograph Cloner. Take all my buildings and put to this cloner. I no need. I no need. I no need. Yes. First of all, render instance, and just going to my grid array and change. I don't know. Maybe 20, 20. It will be too much. And 3,000 for 3,000. Sorry, 3,000. What I have, I have like this. It's all, almost almost city, a very big city. Go in here and change clones, iterate for random. You already have some randomize. Also, I can apply for this material effector, name of this effector, random. So for random effector, I will use a sum position, maybe 100, 100, some scale, maybe zero seven sorry zero seven zero seven zero seven and some no rotation i'm not use i am not use any rotation so just check what i have i have like this and if i push a render now i have looks like nice very illumination city yes of course it's not photorealistic it's like a primer animation but for example if you use somewhere very high somewhere on the sky on the mount or somewhere in the city it, it will be not so bad and looks like very interesting so how to make it more or less photorealistic we apply our sunlight so i am going to redshift object and redshift sun and sky rig like this i already have some very nice illumination so don't forget to make some floor i'm going to planner and make some floor very nice so i have already some floor and now we will do some i don't know in this okay in this area i will set up a camera so this will be camera and how to how to work with our uh, redshift sky and sun okay open that and first of all change horizon high for minus one because sometimes you can see black line so change like this and you have more beautiful sky uh, night color change for dark blue it will be more more interesting illumination during evening time how to make evening time you're going to sun and you have these coordinates for sun going to rotation tools and whereas you have this blue line this is like a sun direction so just change blue line somewhere here and look look to like look to camera yes okay maybe like this like this 
and it's now almost look to the camera and we can see this sun the sun is here so just maybe a little bit change yeah you see the sun looks like very nice okay uh, what we are doing next if you open sun uh, you have some I don't know some options for my sun volume shadow photons everything we are use volume contribution scale I am increase up to maximum and then I will create a redshift environment as you can see I have it really too much so my environment I change scattering maybe zero one sorry zero one just check maybe less maybe zero five yeah like this I have scattering like this very nice again going back to my sky and what I have sky coordinates adjustment very nice and you see red blue shift so if I'm increase you see I have some change of my I don't know of my sky color of my sky I have I can make it dark it's like a I don't know, like a color cor correction so I'm use a yellow color okay uh, Sun inside in the Sun I can increase or decrease my Sun disk intensity and glow illumination so you see 0 0.1 it will be very small okay and overrides so I no need any GI I am not use any GI and I not use any refraction my render will be more faster because no any refraction no any GI this is just just like animation picture okay very nice and what next what next just give me one second I will double check if it's everything okay background sky yes 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 horizon ozone uh -huh, this is not working for a moment yeah so it is nice also I like to create a clouds how I am doing it uh, I'll use a turbulence container turbulence FD container doesn't matter and increase this container for very 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 big size only 500 it will be very very big size of my container so like this as you can see this is my container for a moment I'm just take my container and make it solo okay I have this container just a moment oh, yeah camera disable very nice so I have this container uh, inside in this container I will create a, just a plane standard plane 4411 uh, inside to this plane I will apply a turbulence FD tag turbulence emitter and for this emitter I'll use only density only density nothing more and if I play now yeah I forget I'm going to container and I use a folder folder for cache where is where is where is my my computer D turbulence FD cache so this previous one I'm delete very good and I'm using this folder for cache very nice so just uh, play and check what I have start as you can see almost nothing happened because I haven't some additional settings going to simulation uh, going to density and apply my density again start and what I have looks like again nothing happened uh, it is very interesting why so I am just increase little bit turbulence little bit varsity okay and inside my plane I will make a texture for noise just open that and make it more contrast maybe for 95 percent just check yeah like this so again start and it should work why I cannot see yeah I understood why I cannot see so going to turbulence container going to viewport and not temperature density yeah you see I already have something 
and shading no not any shading so what i have i have like this it is something something strange and it looks like not a shadow so i am going to my uh, planner going to this emitter and change size of this just i show you in beginning yes you see this is where is coming my clouds so i just global scale increase for 150 and make again simulation start yes okay stop so this is enough for me i have it everywhere and i am keep it like this very nice it is finished i use a frame number 58 just to remember this frame 58 okay going back take my turbulence container and just pick up somewhere here going to camera view uh, you see what i have it looks like very interesting just pick up more maybe like this and render and check what i have i cannot see nothing because for this container i didn't apply redshift material volume just apply it here going to settings if you don't know how to use it more correct just check my other videos you will find some information but i show you something okay yeah i have clouds but it's too dark so i just change uh, color more white change somewhere here and maybe somewhere here okay so for a moment i use like this and maybe it will be more bright okay very nice so what i have i have clouds for example i can move through these clouds and i can see like this like this picture it looks like very interesting and for example for all my animation if if i start my animation i like to freeze this frame 58 for all my clouds but inside turbulence fd it is not possible to make you cannot freeze only one frames because if you're going uh, inside to the cache folder cache folder you go in here you will find that uh, for each frame you have different cache but i like to freeze only cache for 58 folders how to do it uh, so we are going to container just check my video name of uh, you can see it's here check this video you will find more exactly information but i will show you it now a little bit more faster i am back so redshift volume inside in redshift volume just open my cache folder Tur turbulence of the cache and use a vdb file vbd for frame number 58 open that and now we no need any more this turbulence of the container and we no need any more this uh, plane with my uh, emitter so apply it for volume and increase my volume i don't know for 100 percent very nice and just pick up it pick up it somewhere here okay so very nice uh my tutorial completed if you like this tutorial if you like how to work with some some materials with some masking of your materials just put a like subscribe to my channel and share to your friends goodbye and thank you for attention